guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Here we have this uh, free-to-play unit, uh, free-to-play EZA, one of the seventh anniversary units. Um, the seventh anniversary has been very, very good, um, except for the free-to-play units. Um, Dokkan fumbled very hard. I mean, I won't mince words with this. This character is not very good. This is not a character you're going to get any play out of whatsoever. Um, the main issue for this is they're only on Goku Family and Join Forces. These are very powerful teams. Um, you're not going to find a spot for this unit. They are a support type unit, which is good, right? Like, if, if they didn't support, they would literally be a zero, a 100%, almost 100% a zero unit. But two key and 22% attack and defense? Are you kidding me? What is that? Two key and 22% attack and defense? Like, is that a joke? This unit should be giving, like... Why can't they give 77% attack and defense to Goku family? I, the seventh anniversary su support type unit? Like, why not? That doesn't make them OP. It, it's, no, it doesn't. Like, it's still... It, dude, uh, again, you know what team we're talking about here? I'm talking about Goku family. It's uh, pretty good, I'd say. There's a lot of uh, lot of ridiculous units on this team. So, it's like, you, th this unit just does nothing, right? It, it's very unfortunate. So... I mean, they're starting at 128k defense right there. Um, they greatly stack attack, and then they raise defense for one turn. Sure, I guess. I mean, uh, you know, stacking attack is is fine, I suppose. Um, it could allow them to build up damage, you know, over the course of the fight. Um, they'll build up uh, attack and defense per attack perform. They got to do four attacks. They'll get their maximum defense there. Um, they have an additional that is a good chance of being a super high chance, which is cool, but it's just all in all, I just, this unit is not doing enough. Um, these free-to-play characters are just not the greatest. Damn, that's with all in the family activated. The problem, too, is that they basically have a Chi-Chi Link set here. Current, uh, no, it's, it's different. The order is different in-game than it is on the wiki. Okay, the first link is Infighter, uh, Incredible Adventure, Guide into the Dragon Balls, all in the family. Solid support, courage, and then fierce battle is their link set. Or uh, excuse me, uh, shattering limit is the link set. Um, it's just, dude, the, this is a Goku family. You're not running characters that have solid support, in fighter, courage. Like, come on. It, if this was a unit that was on, like, again, on JP, it's called the Boyhood Saga. On Global, it's called Dragon Ball Saga. Um, but if they were on that team, right? Sure. If they were on these, some of these other small shitty teams, I don't know, all out struggle or something like that, like some type of team like that, you know, they could assist more, but Goku family and join forces. I just, you're not going to get a lot of use out of them. We didn't get the additional super proc. Unfortunately, there is a potential system additional and it's only a normal. The good news is that they do build up per attack performed, not per super attack. So we already, like, their next attack is going to be them maxed out in terms of all their attacks. So that'll be good. Um, but, I, again, I'm, I'm not, not to be a negative Nancy here, but this is not a, a well-done character. It's not. The 7th anna the anniversary is the best celebration in Dokkan history. Um, it was amazing, but it's not an undefeatable celebration. The 8th anniversary could easily be better. All they have to do is nail the free-to-play units. I think all the free-to-play units are pretty much L's, um, unfortunately, for the seventh anniversary. Oh, no, the, the cord. Goku did a six. He's got a six million attack set for this 18 key right here. Um, but, yeah, uh, the LR, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, the Goku and Chi-Chi. Uh, oh, no. That, whoops. No, not Elden Ring. No, the cord, dude. <laughs> No, no, uh, plug back in, man. <laughs> All right, I got to keep that in. That's funny. <laughs> no, man, we're not recording Elden Ring. We're recording Dokkan, man. What is this? Yeah, I've got my PS5 up. <laughs> All right, anyway, back to this rotation, man. You saw nothing. Nothing happened. Is that? Okay, so what is? what are they looking like here? 244K defense? I mean... That's doable, I guess. Uh, they, okay, one other thing they've got. They do have this active skill, the Bancho Fan, which is intriguing. So if they do four super attacks, they'll then be able to do the Bancho Fan, which ghost ushers one enemy for the turn. If you could somehow play to a point where you could be going up against, like, Red Zone Broly, and then you could Bancho Fan him, I guess, I don't know. I was... Now that I'm actually, like, using them here, I'm, I'm feeling a bit better about them because I feel like that Bancho fan active skill, again, against Broly, their AGL, 
You'll do damage to him, but then you'll Ghost Usher him. His AoE super is so unfair. The problem is this unit does build up. So, like, you if they're if you get good luck with them double supering, so uh, so if they double super, they get thirty percent defense twice. I'm just thinking of them against AGL Broly. They'd still be taking like 150k per normal or something like that. They are supporting it, but, but this is also them with a. This is like an ideal rotation. What are they getting? 78% and 88% support on this rotation. Yeah, we're getting 88% defensive support, and that's the defensive stat that they're at. Um, one more attack. I guess they do still have 22% attack and defense to build up from their passive as well. Um. They are supporting the team. I guess I could... You could probably get Broly done with this unit on the team. But, I mean, it would be, you know, Tech Ultimate Gohan and LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku ZZ and stuff like that who are carrying. But, you know, I, I feel like that active skill of theirs... Their defense is high enough that... Uh, again, like, what, one more? No, team. Okay, I would have loved to have seen them do one more. Um, hmm... Perhaps I was too harsh on them. I feel like they maybe have a little bit they could do, but I they just should have been way better for sure. It's I feel like Tien and Roshi like are they they're probably are they better than this unit right now? Probably like LR Master Roshi. Like I feel like the sixth anniversary nailed its free to play units um, much better um, than the seventh anniversary did. It's okay though, you know, because seventh anniversary is still the best celebration in Dokkan history. I'd say I have the active skill. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. okay. Um, all right, let's go. Let me maybe do a run on join forces real fast. Um, just sort of see what they'll do. And then we'll we'll go to, like, the GT Legendary Goku event. We'll bring, like, EGL Pan and stuff like that. Just sort of see some stats that they could get. Again, I guess if, if things go your way, they can help you beat Broly in the red zone. They can. I mean, but it's they're on a super powerful team. You will be hiding them. But their active skill... Being able to cancel an enemy's attack, like, is so powerful. So, hmm. Maybe they're a bit better than I gave them credit for going into the video, I think. All right, now we're over here on the uh, Joined Forces team. We could sort of see if this unit can do anything. Um, all right, so we'll have solid support activated as well as some uh, actual support. 87k is what they start out with here, huh? Hi, yay, yay. Okay. Um, I might do a video, um, attempting to see what this Goku and Chi-Chi can do, um, against Broly. I mean, if I could do a video where I could successfully have them, uh, like, cancel a turn for STR Broly, who AoE supers you, and there's, like, no real way to survive without items uh, besides uh, pure... Like, if you had a rotation of, like, Tech God Goku's Easy A, um, like, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then, like, Tech Ultimate Gohan on the 180% Goku family team, and all of them supered first, Broly might still kill you. So, it's like, uh, it, it, it's just, it's very, like, tough, finicky, whatever you want to say, um, to go into the ultimate red zone and just deal with a lot of shenanigans in there. But I'm going to try it. I mean, if you could actually bring that unit into the into that Broly stage and, you know, prevent him from torching you with his AoE super, that could be pretty good. And, you know, that obviously would be the intended use for this character. I just... it Like, they have to super four times? That's, that's the problem. Like, oh my god, like, could they make it any worse? Like, why don't you just have them super attack six times at this rate? Like, god damn, like, it's just like the minimum they could do their super attack would be turn five? Uh, I mean, I guess, to be fair, you know, we could bring, like, a tanky Goku family build, right? Tech Ultimate Gohan, AGL Kid Gohan, you know, try stuff like that. The only thing is we'd be very AGL heavy, and then, dude, that Tech Wrath Broly would be a, a menace. It's like, it, it could definitely work, um, but it's like you just have to put in so much effort just to make this, just for this one specific situation, right? All right, so we have a rotation here with a lot of support. Their defense is up to 165k. Um, okay, because the Broly and Paragus, they only give key and attack, right? I believe they only give key and attack. 
No, they do give defense as well. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, all right. Well, I, I don't know. Um, all right, let's do. Let me do one more build. Uh, run one more build with um, Goku family. Remember that they are supporting joint forces as well. So it's like running them on Goku's family or joint forces. You are going to be able to get that support. But I just think that their links are. I mean, just beyond a massive. Like, like saying that their links are a massive issue. I feel like doesn't even really do it justice it's a little bit worse than that right like it's have they're greatly stacking attack could they actually help against like broly or like super 17 i feel like super 17 they would potentially be really good against because yeah because super 17 uh the first two androids neither of them are tech and then you only fight one phase against Super 17, who's STR, who absorbs key-based supers. But you run all these AGL Goku family units, and none of the best ones are key-based supers. I feel like they could definitely work well against Super 17. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, if I, I'm envisioning situations where they could potentially help, so I, that's better than nothing, <laughs> right? All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, we have t we're at turn one right here. I'm gonna do this turn, and then I'm gonna cut ahead quite a bit um, and see how they can build up. So just linked up with AGL Pan right here, with all in the family shattering limit and the 50% support. Um, we're at 130k defense. Let's just go ahead and pound on this Ginyu for a little while. Actually, wait, I'm a, I'm a Muppet. Why don't I have AGL Pan super attack first? Whoops. <laughs> Oh my god, the mistakes in this video. I, I can see it. This moment will be tweeted at me, and I, you'll say, This guy doesn't even know anything about Doka. And I'll have to say, Yeah, I mean, you, you got <laughs> you got me. Like, you know, the Walter White. You got me. I, <laughs> I messed up, man. Let me put Pan in slot one so we can get the little attack buff that she gives. Um, again, just trying to to slurp off this Goku and Chi-Chi as much as possible to make them look as good as possible here. Let's just attack Ginyu. Um, so remember, they have to do four super attacks to get access to their active skill, and then it's three attacks, or excuse me, um, four attacks in total to build up their full passive, um, is how they work. All right, so let's go ahead and see what they do right here on turn one, and then I'll come back maybe on like turn six or turn seven or something like that. Um, we'll see what their damage is looking like, you know, once they're fully built up. Um, we'll take a look at their active skill as well. We'll see it in action. I think I probably will actually try to use them against Broly or Super 17 or something like that. I, again, I can envision a scenario where they could actually help. I mean, that's if, if they could help in a red zone stage, I suppose that's better than nothing, right? I mean, okay, so look at the way their damage did jump, right? One more? Damn, okay. Um, between them greatly stacking attack and then, of course, just the the buffs from their passive so they do start to look quite a bit better as the turn goes on like as the turns go on right oh they count their <laughs> goku is countering them okay <laughs> all right well bye rakuva goldo all right <laughs> maybe i won't be able to chill it here for too long uh-oh <laughs> all right guys so i want to get this rotation right here because we will actually have all seven links activated for them um on this rotation right so i mean this will be a good turn um, somehow we haven't done four super attacks yet. See, that that's the thing. Like, when it comes to taking them against Broly, we'd need good luck. Like, if they could just triple super, like, turn one or something like that, that'd be good. But, like, dude, we're getting, like, one super per turn. You can get cocked. That's why I don't, I don't like all these, the, these conditions. Like, please, just give me, like, under 70% HP and no other condition. Or turn four, no other condition, right? Just, like... Like, like, stuff that can really give it good value. This, super four times, you know, you can get... I have the worst... Dude, I always have horrible luck. So, I'm just not able to get this uh, active skill very often. I mean, again, we're on turn seven! I haven't been able to do it. Um, their defense is looking pretty good. I mean, if they triple super, that's three 30% defensive buffs they'd be getting, right? Um, at, in, I mean, in this instance... So, it's like, if we had them on rotation with AGL Kid Gohan as a character we could legitimately take into the... Broly Sage, um, you know, Kid Gohan could sort of help things out. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I think I am going to try it. Yeah, they're up to 4.94. Can I get any other supers ever, dude? Oh, my God. I just, I can't. Like, they just, they don't super attack. They just don't want to. 
All right. Um, I mean, they're looking good, I, I guess. Like, like at this turn, they are, they look solid for sure. But it's like, you know, by this turn, what is Tech Ultimate Gohan looking like, right? By turn seven. So, um, all right. I guess I, I won't even cut because well, next turn, I think we should be able to. Um, uh, next turn, we should be able to what should we call it? Um, I think get their active. I think their that was their fourth super attack. They might only be at three super attacks. Again, I just have the worst luck of all time, right? Um, Xeno Goku is unrun. I, I would say he's probably not runnable. Um, you know, you could look at some of these characters who stack and think, oh, they'll be great in, like, this red zone stage. But it's like, hey, you gotta stack fast. Wow, dude, we still haven't done it. Okay. Um, this is a really good turn for them. Let's pop B-Pan's active skill. Um, I actually, dude, I'm stunned. We still have not done four super attacks yet. Really? Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's attack Ginyu. Let's attack Ginyu with them as well. And uh, let's see what we get right here. Let's see what attacks that Goku and Chi Chi put up for us uh, on this turn. We have AGL Pan giving 50% support. We got the Goku and Chi Chi getting the uh, buff from Pan as well. Uh, B Pan, right, giving her them the active skill support buff. See if we get any, you know, extra solid damage here. Uh, four mil they get up to. Okay. All right. Uh, any ever going to additional super, dude? dude it's, comic it's actually comedy, right? Like, their additional has a 50% chance of super. Okay. All right, man. Cool. Very nice. All right, so then they get a 5 million attack set. I, I don't know what happened, but I'm on turn 13, and they aren't able to use your active skill. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm lost in the sauce today, apparently. Um, okay, okay, sure. I, I just want to get their active skill uh, in the video once, and we'll be good here. All right, guys, so we're here on turn six. I got it. All right, so I learned something interesting. So because of the fact that that Ginyu was dodging the attacks, I that was did not allow us to activate their active skill. So even though it's sort of written as can be activated after performing four super attacks, it needs to finish. So the enemy can't dodge it. Because the thing about um, enemy dodging your attacks is we still stack, right? Like, we're still getting the buffs. But it doesn't count towards their active skill condition. That's fascinating. So, you know, that does matter for fighting, you know, some of the red zone bosses dodge and stuff like that. You know, so that could... Enemies dodging can prevent you getting um, some of your conditions to activate, which could really suck ass. So that's good that I learned that. I did not know that. I mean, that, again, you still get the stacks if the enemy is dodging. But um, if the enemy dodges, it looks like it doesn't count towards, like, an active skill condition. So, like, uh, Android 17 and Golden Freeze have the same type. Um, in Legendary Super Saiyan, Broly's got the same type of active skill condition, right? All right, so let's do this. Um, again, we're going to Ghost Usher Legendary Super Saiyan Broly in that first slot right there. So, let's go ahead and do this right here. So, again, that's a very, very helpful um, ability to be able to do that. Like, that that actually is really quite good. Um, the active, uh, the Ghost Usher effect, right? Ghost Usher effects are always strong. So, there's the Goku and Chi Chi. Let me know what you guys think of them. Again, we'll probably try and take them into a red zone stage. Um, I might do Broly and Super 17. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it's going to go. Um, I think they could potentially put in work, but... Very well as easily we could not put in work. We'll, we'll see what will happen. All right, guys. So this is husband and wife's grand adventure. Goku and Chi Chi. Um, their leader skill is the Goku family category key three and seventy seven percent of stats, or AGL type key three and fifty percent of stats. Um, so fodder, but it doesn't really matter, right? Their super attack is the husband and wife combination, which greatly stacks attack. And then raises defense for one turn and does supreme damage to the enemy. Their passive skill, Husband and Wife's Joint Work, gives them 122% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then they get an additional 22% attack and defense per attack performed, up to a max of 88%. Uh, then they launch an additional attack that has a high chance to be a super. And then finally they give Goku Family or Joint Forces Category Allies 2 p 22% attack and defense. Um, after seeing the unit at work, I would say 
The if I was to change this unit, I would give them two key is fine, but 77% attack and defensive support is what I'd give them. I'm dead ass. Like that's that's what you do with this unit. Seventh anniversary, man. Again, they're still only on Join Forces and Goku Family, which are ridiculously overpowered teams. So it's like, you know, you, are you running AGL Kid Gohan or this unit or something like that, right? So it's like, I don't know. I, I feel like they could have done that. Um, their active skill is the Bancho Fan, which greatly raises attack temporarily, does ultimate damage to the enemy, and then delays that enemy's attacks for one turn. So it is only the targeted enemy, but I mean, dude, all of these ridiculously hard fights in the like are against one enemy. So it doesn't matter that it's only against one enemy. Um, against like Super 17 or Broly, those like Super 17 is is AG or uh, STR. So like that'll help them a lot. And then Broly has got the m most ridiculous bullshit ever. The AOE you can't dodge, right? Um, so that active skill could really help out in there potentially. Their links are Courage, All in the Family, Solid Support, Infighter, The Incredible Adventure, Guide into the Dragon Balls and Shadow Limit, Fodder, Ass, Butt Cheeks. You know, that's it. Uh, 12 key multiplier, 140%. Uh, there is no easy A's they will help you in. Absolutely not. Um, and then finally, they're only on the two category teams. They're on, of course, Goku Family right here, one of the best teams in the game. And then Join Forces, which also has a disgusting roster now, so... Let me know what you guys think of the Easy A, uh, Goku and Chi Chi. They looked good. Um, I, I, I feel like, it, again, the fact that I could envision a scenario where they could help in Red Zone, they're definitely better than I gave them credit for. I don't know how often you'll actually be running them, but, I mean, if they would help you as a free-to-play player beat Broly or Super 17, that does have value right there, right? So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.